you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Jennifer Hudson situation. So if you guys have not heard, the young man, William Balfour, who killed her mother, her brother, and her seven-year-old nephew, Julian, um, basically he's speaking to ABC7 News in Chicago, and he's stating that at that point in time, back in 2008, he did not commit this murder. As we all know, he's currently doing life in prison, and he's saying that during the trial, they did not allow him to speak on his behalf or to defend himself, but now he's talking to the news and he wants to get his story out there to let people know that he did not kill these people and that he's innocent if you guys want to watch the news clip you guys can click the link down below it's on my website you guys can check it out it's about a three minute interview so anyhow a lot of folks wanted to know my opinion about this entire situation and to me I find this very interesting this entire story has never sat well with me from the time it first made national headway one, this William Balfour guy was already a convicted felon. He was already on parole for attempting to kill somebody back in 1992. And to me, Jennifer Hudson's sister had no business even, you know, messing with this guy, bringing this guy around her son or anything like that. Too many times you have a lot of women out here who want to deal with guys who are shady, who are thuggish, who have shady past and everything else. It's one thing if this was her child's father, but this was not her child's father. This was just her boyfriend. You know, so I don't understand why she would even want to date somebody who was, who was on parole for attempted murder. But another thing that never sat well with me as well with this case is that how was this young man who is all about five foot eight at the most, and at that time he was probably like 145 pounds soaking wet, how was he able to kill both the mother and the brother, you know, and then on top of that, kill the little boy? I've always felt like there was more than one person involved. I've always felt that he may have been involved along with other co-conspirators, but he's the one who took the brunt of the blame because they had the most evidence on him. Of course, he's going to be screaming that he's innocent because everybody in prison, for the most part, if you ask them, are they guilty of their crime? Of course, they're going to say no. You know, that's just how it works. But another thing with this case that a lot of people have talked about over the years is that Jennifer Hudson basically blood sacrificed her family. And if you guys remember, Remember, Professor Griff first put this out there. He's the one who first said that Jennifer Hudson basically allowed her family to be killed, ritualistic murder. That way she could reach a certain level of success and fame because shortly after they were killed, she won an Oscar. You know, she was being flown everywhere. You know, she's always getting all types of gigs. Her album skyrocketed and all this other stuff. Oh, you gotta pay, your, pay the price. You gotta bond yourself to these people forever. Let's look at some of the other people that have bonded themselves to this demonic energy. When Kanye West wanted to be up in that space so bad, he signed the oath, took the oath rather, and signed on, became a mason and took the oath, um, um, wrote Lucifer, son of the morning, for Jay-Z, and that was his initiation, and sure enough, he lost his mom. Wanted to be up in that space? Yep, her family got taken at it on some ritual killings. Are you following me? So we need to understand this particular thing. You're not going to operate up into the $50, $100 million club and you're not paid the ultimate price now. And even the father of Julian, he later on came out, he did an interview with the magazine. He did an online interview and he basically said that he felt like his son was a blood sacrifice as well. Here, you know what I'm saying? Jennifer, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a Freemason, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here. You know? I don't know how true it is, but she's supposed to have to sacrifice the thing in order to get where she is. I don't know how true that is, I'm not saying it is, but if it is, whatever's in the dark, we'll come to the light. Now, let me address, I'm so glad somebody brought this Illuminati mess up, because only a child of God would address it. That is the most ignorant thing I've ever heard in my life, and it's offensive because basically what? The people that are here today don't deserve to be where they are, what, we didn't work for it, so... I find, and I hate to go there, but I find it's those that can't make it, that would probably join Illuminati or whoever that is to get somewhere, that's saying that. And also, don't listen to that stuff and stuff. Don't follow that stuff because those people are only luring you in to become a part of the mess like that. So know that you're falling into it. 
you might want to stray away from because that's their way of... So there's okay. always been rumors and Illuminati conspiracies concerning the whole Jennifer Hudson situation and the whole Illuminati blood sacrifice situation. That's why a lot of folks are also saying that they feel like William is innocent and Jennifer Hudson was behind this whole situation. So everything is really crazy. We may never know the truth, but at the end of the day, he's already been found guilty and I doubt that they're going to reverse anything. I doubt that he'll ever be walking out of prison. You know, we may never know who truly killed them, but I do feel like there was more people involved as opposed to just him. So I find the whole situation really sad that a seven-year-old child lost his life for no reason whatsoever. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Jennifer Hudson and William Balfour basically speaking out and saying that he was innocent, that he did not commit these crimes. Do you believe him? Do you feel like he was innocent, that he was not involved? Do you feel like he may have been involved, but there were other people involved as well? Or do you feel like this was Illuminati blood sacrifice and this is on jennifer hudson so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces